Hi everybody. Today I wanted to address in a video blog post uh, why it's so important to address the communication that behavior is telling us and not just try to stop the behavior. So I wanted to share a story with you about an experience that I had just the other day with a group of children and we were on the playground um, in an area that was all concrete and out of one of the cracks of the concrete was shooting this little tiny sprig of grass or something green was growing. So I walked over and there was a circle of children. There was a seven-year-old, a couple of five-year-olds, a couple of four-year-olds. So six or seven kids. And the seven-year-old was standing over this piece of green on the concrete and shouting at everybody not to touch it. He was very upset. And one of the five-year-olds reached over and he was trying to, to touch it. And, and the little boy, the seven-year-old, got again very upset. He said, I said not to touch it. You're going to hurt it. He was just getting more and more upset, and then another five-year-old tried to reach out, and the seven-year-old grabbed his hand on the arm, and he looked at him very sternly, and he said, I said, don't touch it. Very upset. So at this point, you know, I'm ready to you know, take his hand, and he removes it. But then a four, one of the four-year-olds, he jumps up, and he starts growling at everybody. He's going, rawr, rawr, and he's jumping around like a little animal, just around the circle, and everybody stops, and I'm thinking, okay, what am I, what am I going to do? Where is this coming from? You know, you think it's just a piece of green. What's going on? So I, I, I just do that. I go with what, I, what I'm feeling. And I say, whoa, everybody, hold on. Wait a minute. It sounds like there are a lot of different ideas everybody going on. It sounds like everybody's got an idea here, and they're, they're not exactly the same. I turn to the seven year old. You look like you're really trying to protect this piece of green in the earth. He goes on. He says, yes. This is Mother Nature, and you can't be rough with Mother Nature. You can't grab her or pull her out of the earth. He's very upset and very serious and passionate about this. Okay, you're trying, you're trying to protect Mother Nature. I get that. Okay. He's like, yes. I turn to the five-year-old. Tell me about your idea. What were you trying to do? You were reaching out for it. You wanted to, to see what it felt like for yourself? Yes. I wanted to touch it, he said. I wanted to feel it. Yeah, he wanted, he wanted some choice about how he experienced this beautiful green piece of Mother Nature growing out. You know, it sounds silly, but this is what kids do. They want to get emotional about their experiences. You know, to them, this piece of green, however silly it may seem to us as adults, was very important to these children. So and then one of the other little boys came, you know, he came in and, and he wanted to touch it as well. and. And the seven-year-old, he started to back up. He said, wait, maybe if we, if we tell everybody how that they can touch it gently, we should let them know that if they touch it gently, it'll be okay to touch. What do you think? And he starts to back up, the seven-year-old. He's like, uh, you know, I, I, just, he, I think he was just avoiding the conflict at that point. He wanted to move away. I said, wait, if you show everybody how to touch it gently, then, then they'll, ha they'll know. They'll know how to be really careful, and we can all touch it and not hurt it and then it will stay protected. He was empowered by this. He sat down and he showed everybody how to touch a gem. He took it and he went like that. And the other little boy, he reached over and he gently touched it. And the kids went back to exploring it together. And then, of course, you know, just so you know that I don't ignore behavior, I don't want you to ignore negative behavior or forget to teach lessons, but you have to wait till kids are regulated. I mean, these kids, right, one jumping around like an animal, the other one was sitting in silence, and the other one was getting aggressive and screaming at people. And when you're in that state, the most, you know, instinctive thing, depending on your history, is probably to, to yell. But if I had gone in there and said to the seven-year-old, you know, you can't put your, your hands on people, that's not the way we do it, or even if I was really gentle and loving and said, but focused on the behavior, and said to him, you can't. You have to give your friends a turn. This is how we share and focus on all these social learning experiences before hearing their their needs. It would have just gotten me more resistance. But instead, I opened up the situation with compassion. I approached it with curiosity. What's going on? We have different ideas. With love, we wanted to protect it. I get that. This is, you know, something really important to you. Look at this. It's amazing. Green growing out of the concrete. And love and I brought them back together to problem solving because that's when we get to problem solving. Once we're reconnected, once they're connected to somebody that understands them, children can move 
move through their emotions and they can regulate. So I went up to the little boy after and we talked about it. I said, I think that really scared some people when you grabbed their hands and you got really angry, but I know what it's like to get really angry. You know, what can we do next time? We can get an adult. Yeah, we can breathe. I told him, I taught him about breathing. So I just wanted to say that when we take the time to, to find out what is underneath the behavior and address that, we can really move our kids back to this place of problem solving and we can leave the situation feeling connected and empowered and whole instead of upset and angry and everybody feeling like, oh, okay, well, we got our needs met, sort of, but we're not really feeling hurt. So I hope that was helpful, and stay tuned for more video blog posts from me. Thanks, everyone.